who would have thought? Who would have thought one of those three or four lots would have been Amazon? Yeah. Which then created a whole buzz for us nationally. And then internationally with Haribo and Foxconn, a lot of these things have just kept ticking off the list. Great location between right. Milwaukee and Chicago, you got the lakefront, um, but you, you see all Amazon is great, Uline, all these success stories, Haribo. Um, what do you attribute all that to? Well, I, I think you still want Kenosha to be the biggest small town in Wisconsin. So it's a perfect time for someone who wants to get involved in real estate um, to buy a place because it's, it's going to appreciate in value. Hi, my name is Aaron Komeyer. I'm the broker owner, owner of Welcome Home Real Estate Group. Today I have the privilege of interviewing the one and only Jim Cruiser, County Executive. Uh, thanks so much for uh, meeting with me today. Aaron, I'm happy to be here today. There's so many great things going on in Kenosha County. Awesome. Yeah, so we just want to get a little bit of uh, info on Kenosha and get your, I thought it'd be great to get your perspective on all the development happening here. It's exciting times. Um, maybe just intro who you are, how long you've been in county government. Sure. Uh, Jim Cruiser, Kenosha County Executive, born and raised in Kenosha. Um, went to local schools, went to Parkside, and uh, went on to be work in the County Executive's Office early in my career for seven years. And then I was in the legislature for 15 and a half years. And then 10 years ago, I ran for County Executive and I have been elected four times now. That's awesome. And uh, we were at the decline or in the Great Recession. Um, at that point and uh, things were tough. I mean jobs were, unemployment was high, uh, number of vacant properties, uh, people couldn't make ends meet um, and now we've seen the total renaissance of the Kenosha community in southeastern Wisconsin. And we are now the hot spot not only the region and the state but in the nation. Uh, we have some of the lowest unemployment anywhere in the nation. Uh, we have... Yeah, what is Kenosha right now? Do you know, roughly? Or? It's under 3% yeah, awesome. uh, countywide. Um, we have uh, done a number of initiatives for infrastructure over the last 10 years so that with good infrastructure leads to economic development which leads to jobs. A number of people here, including people who would be maybe surprised, that there's a lot of manufacturing jobs here. Wisconsin is still one or two in per capita manufacturing in the United States. Uh, and uh, we continue to make things here, uh, especially in the area of, of surgical devices, uh, manufacturing of, of all types of things actually in Kenosha, and a lot of water products, food processing. Um, it's been kind of a diversification of what has happened in our community. And it's offered great opportunities for worldwide companies to now know Kenosha. Um, we've got the largest foreign investment uh, in Wisconsin um, up to that point was Haribo, yep. up until Foxconn announced. Yes, yeah. And internationally, people are talking about Kenosha County. Now, yeah. Foxconn's in Racine, but it's the region here and some of the things we've done that put Racine in play and actually got things moving in our direction on this. So the federal government, the state government, and the local governments are attuned to good planning, trying to get good jobs, the, the wages are going up, um, and, and now people are saying there's a need for housing. Right. So it's a perfect time for someone who wants to get involved in real estate um, to buy a place because it's, it's going to appreciate in value. Uh, and so whether you have a business or, or, or a home or uh, looking to buy additional homes. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's a perfect time in, Ken in Kenosha to do that because we're on the crest. We're ahead of the curve in a lot of areas. Um, our community, as you know, is also one of the safest. We've done things like uh, with adjudicated youth. We're spending a third of the money we were 10 years ago on, on locking kids up. Uh, juvenile crime in the summer with the summer youth program and working with the Boys and Girls Club and other organizations is down 37%. Uh, of, of summertime crime, youth crime. Uh, so we've really been able to turn the corner and get some of these young people who have actually gotten more jobs in the private sector yeah. than have ever dropped out of the program. So it's really kind of worked out as a win-win to get them, to teach them soft skills. Get a bank account, show up on time, put in a full day's work. And the school district was a key player in this. We have a great school system throughout Kenosha County in which 
They give a half a credit if you successfully complete that summertime if you're an at-risk youth to help them turn the corner. So it's kind of a, a pulling together of things in our community. It's really made it um, grow and become safer and uh, those people who are able-bodied can find work now in Kenosha County. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you mentioned the international um, interest and investment. I mean, this is the first time in my real estate career where you, you always hear about international investors investing in New York, California. Right. But with Foxconn, I've actually had international investors coming in uh, to view homes, condos. Um, I was going to get to Foxconn later, but what do you, can you give us a little <laughs> bit about Foxconn, what you think that's going to do for the area? And what does the timeline look like, look like for construction? And, uh, well, it, it's interesting. A number of small businesses have already been approached to get jobs out of Foxconn. Electrical people are at high premium, people uh, doing different components of different buildings in Foxconn. Um, I think they're, they're online, they're still making some adjustments. Right now the infrastructure and the roads are getting done. Uh, by the end of uh, 2019, early 2020, I-94 will be done. Everybody will be happy that I-94 is completed. Yeah. <laughs> um, County Trunk KR will have the first segment moving and, and significant activity over the next two years. Um, and it's going to build out toward the east down to Green Bay Road, finishing in about uh, 2021, 20, 22. Um, and that'll be four lanes traversing that whole area. Uh, it'll be quite a big deal. But the impact it's had is, is, a, is a ripple effect of, all right, how can people optimize their land? Uh, either they want to keep it agricultural, but at some point the pressure becomes so high that they could go buy land somewhere else and they will take the money and move on. And with the traffic going on, um, we're trying to work on to make sure there's enough lanes so that it's good for commerce, it's good for the public, good for safety, uh, emergency workers, uh, you know, ambulances and police and fire. Um, we're trying to be planful as this big development is coming on and the state and Racine County and Kenosha County have been working as partners. What's good for Racine County is good for Kenosha County. They have Foxconn, we're gonna get a lot of the supply chain. Sure. We're both gonna get housing. It'll benefit both, both communities, exactly. for sure. Exactly. Yeah. You know, there's gonna be a number of rental units, uh, apartment complexes and condos built. Uh, some are gonna be announced over the next several months. Um, you know, I think you're starting to see some of the construction come back, but that's still a little bit lagging behind is the single family homes. Sure. Um, and they're probably going at a very good rate right now. Yeah, I mean, the paper this week, again, another record. Uh, I think we're up like 7.5%, the median price. Um, we, we need wages to keep up, I think, too. So what do you see as far as um, you know, continuing improvement in that area? You know? Well, I, I think you still want Kenosha to be the biggest small town in Wisconsin. Where, very true. You know, you, you know, there's about two degrees of separation, not six. Um, and so, I, I don't want to go for high density in places it shouldn't be. When, you know, people want high density. What is it going to look like in 25 years? You don't want it to be a, a, an area where you need heavy policing. You want an area to be quality that stands the test of time and keeps us the biggest small town in Wisconsin, yeah. <clears throat> where people are have enough area, green space to play in, enjoy the recreations of our great park system, uh, our bike trail system and all those things that have made Kenosha County a great place to live, work, and raise a family. Yeah, you mentioned early on that Kenosha is booming. I, I mean, I think it is too. I don't know if I've ever seen it this good. I mean, I, I don't have as much experience as you, but um, I mean, I'm what older you, than you. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, I mean, we got the great location between right. Milwaukee and Chicago, you got the lakefront, um, but you, you see all Amazon is great, Uline, all these success stories, Haribo. Um, what do you attribute all that to? Well, I, I think we have, um, We've set the table. I've heard for 40 years that we're in the spot, the hot spot, and it's going to pop someday. Um, we have a, an experienced mayor. I've been around the block myself in, in government and politics. We're able to work collaboratively and seamlessly to bring people in. So when they come to us, if, you, if we say yes today, what day can we be in the ground? Now, Pleasant Prairie is a perfect example with Niagara bottling. Um, you know, here's the day, here are the committee meetings, on this day you can have production. If you meet your time schedule, okay. we'll meet ours. That's what people are trying to do, is trying to work with them in a business fashion so that 
when they want to get in, they can get in and get their work done and not be bogged down with bureaucracy and red tape. We're, we've been very pro-development. Now, we've also been, sometimes, we're not taking any development. Sure. We're making sure it's thought through. Mm -hmm. uh, but when big organizations like Uline, which now is the largest square foot uh, uh, employer in, in Kenosha County, yeah. um, they do a top-notch job. If you're anywhere close to their landscaping and building and corporate culture, you're going to be a good fit in Kenosha County. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and I have to say that the city has taken the approach that we're competing against the third ward in Milwaukee. Okay. You get a better price point in downtown Kenosha. There's now apartments taken down. Some were taken down, some were now yeah. built that are very nice apartment buildings. There's action down there Wednesday through Sunday night. So for a, a, a young person to be able to get on the train and work in Chicago or commute to Milwaukee, yeah. the price point is here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. I think that's true. Uh, you cost get of a, living is still, still, still great. You get a quality of life, you get cost of living, your, your price per dollar, your uh, safe communities. Kenosha County is your value point to be uh, if, if you're a young person. Yeah. Actually for any age, but you know we're trying to redevelop the downtown and that's becoming more of a... Uh, young professional areas in different areas. Yeah. Now, I was on the county board a, a couple, few years back and yeah. so I get a little insight of the, how it works and I have a great appreciation for county government. Um, one of the things that we were doing at that time was the high impact fund. Is there things that you guys are still doing like that that it helps attract too? We continue to work with our economic development partner, CABA, Kenosha Area Business Alliance, uh, of which you supported the high impact fund in which we had like Bradshaw Medical, local owned company, able to expand. Uh, create more jobs in the community, and we've been able to spend kind of a deal closer fund for okay. about 1,100 jobs, and uh, I, I think it was significant amount, millions of tens of millions of dollars of economic growth because of that. Yeah, yeah I took from their website, um, the Cobb's website, 8,000 new jobs, one billion in capital. I mean, those are yeah. really impressive numbers over the past four years. Um, where do you see it going? in the future now? I mean, will we see, still see all this development? Or? I think you're going to see a lot of people build on spec, okay. the, uh, speculation, because you're going to have a lot of pressure from Foxconn to have buildings, our vacancy rate is way down. Right. And just today, in today's paper, another spec building is going to be built. And I think that's good because you're going to have to have people who are going to work there, construction workers building it. People working under the rooftops, they're gonna live somewhere, there's gonna be more commerce and more action here. Our job is to keep up the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And you were on the county board when we extended County Trunk N. Yeah, that made a huge difference. And that was for Gordon Foods. Yep. And there were three or four other lots that we were gonna develop out of that. And we built it for the city, gave it to the city, and who would have thought? Who would have thought one of those three or four lots would have been Amazon? Right, yeah. Which yeah. then created a whole buzz for us nationally and then internationally with Haribo and Foxconn. A lot of these things have just kept ticking off the list and uh, again, opportunities abound. If you want a job, you can get one in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Yeah, and I think everything you're talking about is, makes total sense and we're right on track. Um, as far as the low inventory, I'd say, one that we're experiencing in the housing industry right now, it's one of the reasons prices are going up so fast is we don't have enough, I think. Right. Uh, homes, more buyers than sellers currently. Do you see a lot of new residential development across your desk, around the horizon with planning? Or? Yeah, I, I think we're looking at people who are, it's starting to go on the uptick. Mm -hmm. And I think there were a lot of people who were caught in between sure. in the recession. Years ago, yes, yeah, definitely. And there, there's trepidation to, develop a few tracts of land here and there, but they're starting to get plotted. Okay. And I think that construction is gonna catch on. I think people are double checking their footing on the, on the, on the single family home uh, market. Um, some of the land prices have gone up, some are stabilizing back to a w rate where per square foot it makes sense now to build. Okay. Um, uh, so I think it, we're, we're getting in, into alignment. You know, there's a tremendous amount of changes happening and there's alignment and realignment that have to take place. And I think that's the last sector that's uh, getting off the ground right now. Yeah. The other thing that people look to 
when they look at the bond rating of different municipalities. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great, great. great you know, we're fiscally strong. We're we're double A plus. We're one notch away from triple A. Mm -hmm. um, and the one thing holding us back is the overall um, income of our, our citizens needs to just go up a tad. And when it does, we'll be triple A, which means any money we borrow for roads and those type of things, we get at the cheapest possible point, which is which is good. We don't have any pension, we have very limited pension liability, unlike our neighbors to the south, sure. which uh, is something you have to pay the piper at some point. Yeah. Uh, we've been fiscally responsible in Wisconsin on that point, and so your price point definitely between Illinois and, Ken and, and Kenosha, um, it's a no-brainer. Your CFO would tell you to move here in a minute, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I mean, as a realtor, we've seen that that over the border a lot lately, moving from Illinois to Wisconsin. Um, I think just with the stable government, like a lot of the pension issue you mentioned. So where do you see the next five to ten years, let's say, Kenosha? Do you see uh, the same pace that we're at with all development or um, anything there's probably confidential things you can't talk about or anything. Any, As they say, that. in Kenosha County, it's going to be so bright, you're going to need shades. I mean, it, 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 the, the, the future, we're in the third inning of development. Okay. We're going to see this run go on for quite a while. Um, and, you know, a, as you know, there's some stresses in the retail market. Sure. Yep. But in the industrial space, logistics, um, food preparation, uh, medical devices, the diversification we have now is the strongest mix of diversification I think Kenosha County's ever had in the last century. Um, so if one company has a, has a problem or has a cold, every, or has a cough, everybody else gets a cold, that isn't the case anymore. And, and our automotive history is rich, it was rich and important to our community, but it's gone. Sure. Um, you know, our colleges were built on that. A lot of people went to college on that money. Yeah. Um, they provide uh, bread on the table and, and a good standard of living for many people in our community. But it's gone. Mm -hmm. And we need to move on. And we've diversified in such a way that it covers such an array of areas that if there wasn't an area that you're interested in Kenosha County, I'd be surprised. Uh, I think it handles every profession. Um, whether you want to live here and work in Illinois at Abbott, like my wife did and retire, um, or you want to work in Milwaukee, or you want to work here. Um, our outward mobility, people leaving town for jobs, is starting to decrease. Mm -hmm. And every time the gas price goes up, it decreases more. Because people sure. look at that choice of where they could live. And millennials especially want to live closer to where they work. Sure, yep, that's a, that's a huge trend, so yeah. definitely. Um, what's your favorite part about Kenosha overall? What do you, what do you enjoy? Well, I, I love Kenosha just because, you know, I was born and raised here, and now I'm in a position where I can add value to it sure. and, and leave a positive mark on it, make it better through some difficult times, make it better than what it was, and hopefully sustainable. You know, we want to make government sustainable in the fact that we're leaner, we're using best practices. When we borrow money, I want to do it at the lowest possible rate, and uh, you know, take care of those needs that uh, those mandates and deliver them at the most efficient level to sure. our constituents. Yeah. Um, we've had a good good run here in county government, and uh, I'm proud of the team and the quality employees we've been able to retain, mm -hmm. uh, and we continue to hire and attract because. Things are happening in Kenosha County, so some of those young people, they're coming here and working for us. Yeah. No, I mean, you, you guys have done a phenomenal job, I think, in keeping government stable and um, keeping a, everything affordable and efficient, and it's, it's been great. So, uh, anything else you want to add? I didn't ask you, or as far as Kenosha overall, or where? Well, I think it's an exciting time uh, if, if people are looking to put down roots or, or to upgrade or to. Uh, maybe in, invest in property because um, we're probably at the epicenter of the Midwest especially of where if you buy something and you, you have some fiscal wherewithal um, you're going to be better tomorrow than you are today. Sure. Um, and some people don't want to buy and that's fine but um, uh, it's a time where values are increasing and um, there's definitely a positive mojo going on in Kenosha County. Yeah. 
Oh, definitely. Well, I really appreciate your time today. Thanks for uh, sharing all, all from your perspective. Um, I have a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of respect for you and what you guys do here. So Thanks, Aaron. Keep doing the terrific job you're doing. Oh, and thanks. I know you're out there every day uh, selling our community and working with people uh, to make their lives better. So thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. All right, thanks.